Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to create a PDF file using your Visual Basic Windows Form application. For this we are going to use a third party DLL which is called iText Sharp which is widely used to create PDF file using .NET applications as well as Java applications. So let's get started and let's first download the DLL called iText Sharp DLLs. So just open your browser and in your search just write iText Sharp and search for this. And the first link you will see here is the site or the link from sourceforge.net slash project slash iText Sharp. So this is the link you want to open in order to download the DLL files for iText Sharp. Okay. So when you click this link it will open the site like this and we just need to click this download button in order to download these DLL files and it will take hardly one minute or 30 seconds to download these files. So once you have downloaded these files, I have already downloaded these files, so these zip file look like this. And this zip file also contains several zip files. So it contains the iTech Sharp core projects and it also contains the DLL files from iTech Sharp. And what DLL files we are interested in is in this iTech Sharp minus DLL minus core folder and iTech Sharp minus DLL minus PDF FA folder and in this iTech Sharp minus DLL minus extra zip folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project. This is not a necessary step but I prefer to do this and I will just right click my project in my solution explorer and I will click this open folder in Windows Explorer and this will open a folder in which my project this visual basic project is there and in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open the zip file which contains the iText sharp DLL and I will just extract the this DLL file in my visual basic project folder right so iText sharp dot DLL and iText sharp dot xml file now i will open this itech sharp minus dll minus pdf a and i will extract this into my visual basic folder so i will just do this and one more zip file which is itech sharp minus dll minus extra and i will extract this also in my Visual Basic project folder. Okay. Now this once this is done, we just once again go to our project and in here once again we will go to the solution explorer and right click our project. And in here this time we will open this properties here. You can either open properties or you can say I want to add references. So let's open the properties here. And this will open this property tab here. And what you want to do is you want to add the sources. So just go to this the sources tab here and just say add resources okay and you it, there are some options so you can say add existing resources or and this will open the open file dialog to select your resources so just open the folder in which you have extracted your dll files and we have extracted our dll file in our project folder itself so i'm going to choose my dll files from here which is itextsharp.dll itextsharp.p 
pdfa.dll and ihtechshop.xtextra.dll okay I choose all three of them and add it as a resource here okay now once again once this is done I will just close the property tab from here and I will reach to my project form here so what I will do now is I will try to generate a PDF file using these TLL so I will take a button and I will change its text as create PDF okay and I will just double click this button and in here we are going to write our code okay so first of all we need to import some resources or some classes of these itex sharp so what you need to do is so we are going to import these itex sharp file here but first of all we need to add references to these dll files so i will right click my project once again and i will say add references and in here i am going to go to this browse tab and in here i have my all dll files itextsharp.dll itextsharp.pdfa.dll and itextsharp.extra.dll once again and i will select all these dll files once again and i will press ok and this will add a reference to these dll files in our project okay now we are ready to import these itext sharp file so just go at the top of your code file and just add these three imports here which are imports itextsharp.text.pdf and just import itextsharp.text and third import is imports system.io okay so these two are from the itex sharp dll and this is from your visual basic code library okay once you are done with that once again go to your button and double click it and in here we are going to write a code to generate a pdf so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first paste the code which is very simple so this is the code to generate a pdf file of two pages okay so what you need to do in your button click event is to declare a variable for the document so just write dim pdf doc as new document and in the second line just declare a second variable called pdf write as a pdf writer instance so just write dim pdf write as PDF writer is equal to PDF writer dot get instance and just copy this PDF doc instance from here or PDF doc object from here and paste it inside this bracket as a first argument and the second argument is the new file stream so just write new file stream and in the bracket just give the name of your pdf file whatever you want your file to be so this is the name for your pdf file i have given uh, the name to my pdf file as simple.pdf comma file mode dot create okay so write this line and then in the third line we are going to open our document so in the third line just write this pdf doc dot open this will open your pdf uh, document and now once the document is open we are going to add some paragraph to our document so just write pdf doc dot add and in the bracket just write new paragraph and in the bracket just write the text you want to save in your pdf file okay so this will just add a paragraph to your pdf file now suppose you want to add a second page 
so for adding the second page what you need to do is you need to write once again your pdf dot doc dot new page so this line will create a new page for the pdf okay and once again to our new page we are going to add a new paragraph so just write pdf dot dot add and in the bracket just write new paragraph and in the bracket just write the text in your second page whatever you want to write and once you are done with writing the text just close your pdf document instance so this is the code to create a simple pdf of two pages okay now let's try and to run the program and let's check whether it creates the pdf file or not so first of all what i'm going to do is if you are wondering where this file is generated so this simple dot pdf file will be generated in your binary folder wherever your executable file for your project is there because i haven't given any path to this file or you can give any path for example c dot slash slash or whatever path wherever you want to generate your file so i just wanted to generate the file in my project folder itself so i will just go to my solution explorer once again and i will right click it and once again i will click open folder in windows explorer and in here i'm going to open my binary folder which is bin folder and in here i have debug folder because i am making this project in debug mode and in here you can see all my three dll files are there and i here my new simple.pdf file will be generated when i run the program so just keep on the i keep your eye on this folder so i am running this project and i am opening this folder so you can see the file generated in front of your eyes okay so i will just click this create pdf button and just see here i click it and you see here there is a new pdf file created here which is simple.pdf now we are going to open this pdf file and when you open this pdf file you can see there are two pages generated one and two if you can see here and first page in first page we have written the simple text hello world and in the second page we have written written hello world again so the itextop dll has generated two pages for us yeah. for first page we have the text hello world which is this text if you can see here and second page has hello world again okay so in this way you can create a simple pdf file with the help of your itext and your visual basic windows form application in the future videos i will also show you how to add tables images uh, and some more interesting stuff to your pdf file using itextshop so so stay tuned and please rate comment